Hello everyone. I know it's been a long time. Long time, long time. We're gonna do another live. Welcome. It's kind of an unannounced live. I haven't done one in a while. Hello, hello. Welcome. Say hi when you come in. Let me know you can hear me and see me okay. Okay, let's see if I can scoot this over. Come on in. <clears throat> Hello, say hi when you come on. Let me know you're there. Getting the resin all mixed up here. Hello there. Hello, Monica. Come on in. Don't forget to share it out to people you know or groups you know. <clears throat> How are you doing tonight? This thing turned on. We're just gonna make a beach cup using alcohol inks and mica powders. So um, this one's gonna be the beach cup, and I'm gonna have like a sun, sun um, set kind of scene on the top of it. With and eventually I'll put dolphins on it. She wants dolphins. And then my other cup is going to be, I need to make it look like a metal cup. So I'm going to use alcohol inks. I'm going to rub them on. I've already primed the cup. So nothing really majorly exciting. Just needed to make a couple of cups that I jump on alive. You're about red for Dorian to be done. Yeah, I hear ya, Monica. Where are you at? I'm over here by Daytona. Yeah, this Dorian, it's like being stalked by a turtle. I mean, I've been getting prepped and prepped and prepped, and the last thing I have to do, we've been waiting, is just to put the, the door to the cover, or the cover on the door, um, the hurricane shutter on the door, and then I've got to put a shutter on a bathroom window. Um, we decided late to do that, so I'll have to do that in the morning. <clears throat> but I think we're ready otherwise, but yeah. We won't starve, I'll tell you that much. I got lots of food. Lake County. Where's Lake County? What city is that by? I'm in Volusia County. So right here by Daytona Beach. Hello everyone. Don't forget to say hi. Let me know you're in. 
feel free to share um, with friends and if we get more likes on my Facebook page and I make it to a thousand um, I'm gonna do a giveaway so make sure you like it and hopefully you can share it out to others get them to like it let's build up that community Uh, Leesburg, okay, Mount Dora, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'm over here on the coast, and um, they're going to close the bridges, I think, tomorrow. They're going to start the evacuation, you know, mandatory things. I'm not on that side. I'm on the other side of the bridge, so I'm not on the peninsula. Um, I'm like five minutes from Daytona's Beach. But the good news is I don't have to worry about the, um, well, I don't, I'm not required to do like hurricane windows because I'm far enough away from the beach, but, um, uh, you know, you're still nervous. It's a category five. I don't know what to expect right now. Nobody does. Hi, Candy. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, and I just kind of figured, I, you know, I have some cups to make before I lose power. Hopefully I don't lose power. Um, so I kind of wanted to just go ahead and get these cups started. And I thought, why not? Do a live. I haven't done one in a while, so I miss you guys. And gals. Okay, so I'm doing mica powders. Um, on the banner there, I've got my mica powders. They're just, they're, you know, just these ones from uh, Amazon. Whoop, there you go. So they don't really have names. <laughs> they're all in Chinese. Um, and I've got those to use up. So I'm going to make those, this cup with that and alcohol inks. I'm going to supplement the color with the alcohol ink as well. So I've got several colors. Once I pour these together, I'll show you the colors I'm going to use. And I want to do a sunset on the top and ocean waters on the bottom. And when it's all done, I'm going to add dolphins and some fins swimming around, you know, dolphin fins, because that's what she wants. It'll be a pretty cup. Probably need just a little bit more resin. It's funny, I always think, okay, I need this much resin, and then when I go to split it up, it's like, how much do I put in there? It's always a guesstimate. I'm usually short. I am short. <laughs> Yeah, but this, this weather is just something else. And we've been having, my concern is we've been having rainstorms come through enough to soak the ground. And then it's like, okay, great. The ground is already saturated by the time we get this hurricane and the bands from the hurricane coming through. So that's got everybody the most worried in our neighborhood, making sure the street sewers and stuff stay open, that kind of thing. had to make sure the pool area was all picked up and ready to go and of course I just put new screening on so in a hurricane they won't replace screening they'll replace the frame <laughs> it's so bizarre I don't understand insurance I think somebody would have to have more intelligence than me to ever understand where insurance comes from in their thinking But we got gas in the cars, all that. I don't have a generator because in the past we have a fire station. I mean, literally on the corner um, off the block. So the, we have a good power system here. So we have not lost power the two years I've lived here. Um, and we had a hurricane the year we moved in. <laughs> literally that weekend that we survived. So I'm hopeful that we won't lose power. And I'll tell you, <clears throat> I have to give these, these linemen praise. I mean, they they are doing a phenomenal job these guys are already all ready to go from all these other states sitting down here they're all filling up the you know the big 500 speedway they're filling that stadium up with all their trucks i think there's like 5,000 trucks ready to go and then they have them placed you know because they're going to back and close down the bridges so they have them on the other side already sitting there waiting for the storm in case they're needed so it's crazy what they do and they're gone for like a month when they're doing this because they're going to follow the storm up the coast and help others that way. So they're away from their families. So, heck of a job. 
Okay, let me get a paper towel. You guys still with me? Quiet. Give me some chit chat. I watched this gal on the live last night. She was so funny. I was just kind of scrolling through and I caught her live. She's from um, Detroit and she was just hilarious. I'm telling you. I thought I was going to pee my pants. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> so yeah, this Dorian is messing up a lot of stuff because I was supposed to be on vacation this week and celebrate my birthday tomorrow on the beach. And of course all of that got canceled. Just about all mixed up. I got one more to mix here, and then I'll show you all the colors. And in case you haven't watched my live, on the banner there, I've, I've told you all the supplies I'm using. Um, I'm using the Mass MAS resin. It's a tabletop resin. I get it off of Amazon, and they're located in St. Paul, Minnesota. So, um, but I have been so happy with this resin. It does not have an odor to me, not much of one at all. So I don't mind using it when other people are out here with me. Okay. All right, so here's the colors. I've got, these are all the micas right now. <clears throat> so I've got a really pretty kind of um, aqua pale green. I've got um, a nice pretty blue. It's almost a royal. I've got a light blue. Then I've got a yellow, the orange. And this is more of an aqua, kind of another color variety of the aqua. And then I'm adding a little bit of white, and it's got a little color tint to it, kind of a yellow shift in there. Um, so that'll be up there in the water and stuff. And then, like I said, I've got a mixative, a white mixative that I'm going to use as well, snow cap white. There you go. And mixatives are different than alcohol inks. Mixatives you don't just drop onto the cup and use. You have to mix it into something like the resin in this case. Okay, just so you know. Then I've got the Sunshine Yellow Tim Holtz. And I've got the Sunset Orange. And these are just complements to the, to the mica powders. I've got a Royal Blue. And I've got a um, Patina Green. I've got the turquoise. I've got a couple of different inks here, um, brand-wise. I'm trying. It's called um, what are these called? Marabou. Got a couple of Marabou inks. I thought I'd try. They seem pretty vibrant when I've seen them used in the samples, so I want to give them a shot tonight and see how they go. I don't know if anybody on the call has used them. But I think I have to poke them open. Let me grab a pin so I can open these up. I usually keep one here. And now, of course, I can't find it. Isn't that funny? You never can find what you need. All right, give me a second. I gotta grab a pin. Gotta open up the little spouts. Yeah, they're pretty colors. Um, it'll be interesting to see how these new alcohol inks look. All right, maybe I need to cut the tip. I love how they tell you what to do. Okay. It's like I don't want a really big opening, but they don't give you a marker. <laughs> All right.
There we go. Hopefully that does not open it a lot. I'm not impressed with having to cut the tips. I don't like doing that. Okay. Those are going to be ready to go. All right. Hey, Pixie. Small group tonight. Probably because I didn't announce I was coming on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get the, the um, resins on here. These are all mixed with my micas. And I like to do the, my beach cups. And what I do is I try to put, it's just me, I put the darker colors on the bottom first. Got a little too much on there. Oh, I use my stick, it's easier. I put my darker colors on the bottom and then I just kind of move up as it gets lighter because to me the ocean is dark where the light can't get to it and it gets lighter as it comes up to the sunlight so Some more of that color. All right, let's put in our green. And you just kind of have fun with it. It's like coloring, really, for me. I put it on in these strips, and then I kind of blend them a little bit, and I heat them up. Get them kind of moving together. Yeah, the storm has everybody on edge. I tell you, I was at Walmart, I don't know how many times now, over at the Home Depot and all these places to get supplies. And um, can you believe they ran out of bread like early last week? I couldn't believe it. Bread. Bread does not last that long. I mean, granted, you can put it in the freezer, but that was not one of the staples I expected them to be out of. But I guess after I thought about it, if people don't want to cook when they have no power, they can make sandwiches. So that's probably where. And then I had to chuckle. It's just the way the day's been going. But my neighbor started up his grill. I could smell it, you know, getting ready, warmed up. And then it started raining. I mean, just pouring down rain. <laughs> but he didn't plan for that. Okay, I'm going to put a little of my blue up here in the sky. Don't need a lot because I'm going to do a sunset. So, I'm going to go ahead and kind of smooth this around, and then I'm going to heat it up a little bit, get it moving. Let's get our 
sky gone. Seems like forever since I've done a live. I don't even remember the last time I did it. I've just been so busy. I finished my master's program. Just completed that, so yay! So I'll have more free time now at nights. That'll probably help. these gloves on that. Let's see if I can do it with my left hand. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to turn green. plug this in. Hang on a second. You always think you're ready. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give it a little heat. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Lisa. Did I let my resin sit? No, not really. I mean, it sat while I was talking to you about the colors, but I don't normally worry too much about it. Bubble-wise, is that what you're thinking? a little bit more resin. Yeah, I mean, you can mix your resin, let it sit and rest, and what it will do is let those bubbles come up to the surface. In something like this where I have the colorants and stuff, I don't worry too much about it. On my final coat, I worry more about it. But again, using your heat will help pop those bubbles. Hey, Lindsay! And, um, thank you, Teresa. And, um, where was I going? Bubbles, yes. So, I mean, uh, you know, letting, using the heat gun will help pop those bubbles. And in the case of this brand of resin, they suggest that you come back, you know, in 10 minutes after you put it on there and mixed it and give it another heat blast. So what I typically do that you don't see off camera is I'll come back and, check for bubbles and run my heat gun again and just kind of keep it moving um, keep a watch out rather for those bubbles
but with this small amount I don't worry too much about it. All right, let me see if I can get another glove on. My hand is sweaty. Doctor, doctor. Okay. what I want. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take this glove off. Some alcohol inks. Just a little bit. So this is the new green. And what this does when you use both mediums is it kind of gives it a um, almost a dimensional effect, I think. those new inks. Ooh, a little bit of orange too much. I tell you sometimes these new these drippers as you use them they just get too much. They come out too fast. Not happy about that. No I can fix it. put on a little bit more resin here just so I can move that around. I tell you, it just makes you mad though when those things spill out like that. Don't you know you're supposed to drip? Just when you think you have it where you want it to. It would have been easier if I just brought the trash can over to me, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna heat it up again. I didn't know I was doing a video tonight either, Lindsay. <laughs> I have a couple of orders I gotta work on and I figured, well, what if I lose power? Yeah, Lisa, it's, uh, I tell you, I've, we've been through a few, uh, you know, they're never, they're never the same, so it doesn't matter how many you've been through, they're always different, right? This one definitely is 
perplexing the um, weather people because it's a Cat 5. And so they don't have a lot of history on Cat 5 storms. So it's difficult for them to say what to expect fully. You know, and we've seen them circle back around. We've seen them, um, you know, like this one, you know, keeps going west. Well, they say it's going to turn north, so I don't know. We'll just keep watching. That's all you can do. Be prepared. My mom's doing great. Thank you. She, um, <laughs> I've been having her get out on the occasion and do paddling, um, but we've been hanging out at the pool and running errands and, you know, doing all kinds of stuff together. So she's been doing really good. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little white in here for the water. So this is the mixative. I'm going to drop it into my resin I had. Like I said, you have to mix that into something. It's called snow cap. And I don't need a lot, I just had a lot more resin prepared here than I needed, so... It looks like a lot, but I'm not going to use all this. A little bit more. It's a little too translucent. And don't put more than 10% of whatever it is you're mixing into your resin, right? You, you've got that rule there. Otherwise, you break down your resin and it will not cure correctly. And you won't be happy with it. Like I said, so now the water is going to have um, dolphins swimming, diving up in, into the sunset, and then you're going to see some fins from them breaching the water. So I'm hoping for that look. It just doesn't go the way you want it to go. You know, you have an image in your head sometimes, and when you can't reach it, I just keep fidgeting with it, and that's where I need to learn to stop.
what happened, in my opinion, is the white um, turned it too pastel -y for me. I had too much on there. Done, right? <laughs> Let me throw this out before I lose it. Okay, did I lose you? I'm still there. Can y'all still hear me? Did I lose you? I lost my internet connection for a minute, so it must have reconnected quickly. So how does that look now? I mean, woo, let me uh, move my camera back. There you go. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> I was like, oh crap, I just pulled the cable out. How's that look? Does it look like the ocean for you? Yeah, that's where you kind of get, oh, sometimes things just happen. All right, so let me get the caps back on these two. And let me bring him around. We're going to work on something a little different. Um, give me a second, let me move this turn her out of the way. <laughs> it's like, okay, where's out of the way? There we go. Now I've got room for you. trying to make it so I don't kill myself when I move around. Okay. All right, so this cup is going to be hopefully, let me bring you down a little bit. Hopefully it's going to be um, kind of a metal looking cup. I need it to be, um, it's for a welder. So I thought it'd be cool to do the background, something that looks a little like metal. And, um, and then what we're doing is I'm doing some welding images and his name. And I found this really cool font that looks like metal. So once it's all done, I think it's going to look pretty cool. And what we're going to do is use alcohol inks, and I'm going to rub them on, right? Um, we've seen that a few times. Um, and I'm hoping to create that look with these three colors. Well, thank you, Teresa.
Thanks, Lindsay. I'm glad you like your cup, too. <laughs> you guys did a great job. She was one of them in my class, and she made her own cup. All right, so I'm going to try and use these colors. Um, you know, this is where alcohol inks are kind of funny. Their labels don't always give you the same color, so I'm guessing what I'm going to have here. Uh, but this is the mushroom. This is pebble. And then I have, of course, the silver, which I need to mix up here. <clears throat> so I'm going to play with this a little bit and see if it'll work kind of to what I was hoping it would do. Hey, Dolores. Welcome. How's everybody tonight? How many of you are, are looking at uh, waiting for this hurricane to come in? I know me and Lindsay are for sure. And I think earlier, um, uh, Monica is, is as well. So who else um, is looking at this hurricane? Those poor people in the Bahamas, man. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot left in their country. State. Because it hit, um, what, Free, Freeport, Nassau. All right. So this will be interesting. This is going to be an experiment. And see, that's just a little bit dark. That might work. Mm -hmm. Let me grab my black. Okay, I'm going to try these colors. I've got a pale gray. This is the Zig alcohol ink, which I like. This is a nice ink. Um, and then I've got my black. I kind of... I'm not real crazy about those two. They have too much brown in them. That's what I was afraid of. So I've got the black and I've got a pale gray. So what we're going to do, keep it so you can see, I'm going to put a little dot of the black on there first. And you just kind of start, I like to do it in the streaks because it'll start looking like a wood grain. This is a real pale, um, more alcohol than uh, color, but um, the thing you have to watch with the blacks and even the grays is there's a lot of blue, purpley color to them. So they can turn on you quick, but um, we'll see how this goes. Let's see if you can see me here. And so, um, to make it look like a wood grain, you just keep going in one direction. And if you put more ink on it, or a lighter ink, you know, then you start changing the tone. So you just have to kind of play with the colors a little bit. just went rolling down because of the way I'm holding it. <laughs> it's alright, we'll come around to it. I'm going to come back with the silver. And the silver, you have to, the metals you have to use quickly, right? You have to add alcohol to it and get it to spread. They, they just really seem to want to just like go on and stick. Best way I can put it. And you can use some daubs of alcohol ink if you want to get this moving a little bit more. You can use blending solution. Just be cautious when you're using alcohol inks um, because they do have an odor and you need ventilation, okay? Otherwise you'll start getting headaches. I'll just pause here and see if anybody had any questions. 
Oh, you're in West Tennessee, Teresa? Yeah. So you might have some winds coming through there, huh? Thanks, Dolores. Yeah, I know. This is crazy. I mean, I just don't know what to think about this storm. I think we're all up in air. Whether or not to stay, go. Although, we haven't really even talked about going. I think at this point we're just staying. It's just a matter of, have we done enough? It's interesting, my boss lives up in Minnesota, but my boss's boss lives in North Carolina. So he's watching out for this as well. so I can see it here a little better in the light. Squeak! Yeah, it's coming along. Alright, so I'm going to try... A little silver. And like I said, this, this one really moves fast on you, so you have to manipulate it quickly. That's pretty cool in there. Can you see it okay? I got silver all over my fingers. So I'm coming in with the silver last because I really want to try and make this look a little bit more metally and a little less of a green, if you will. But I needed that color to kind of pop through it a little bit because metal has all kinds of imperfections and shiny spots and It's fun to do new cups, right? It's it's fun to get new designs in and try different things. That's what keeps the art piece of this fun. And don't be afraid to try your products in different ways. You know, stretch your imagination. You might be surprised with what you come up. And somebody said it once on a live I heard, um, which is very true. I mean, if you can paint it, you can put it on a cup pretty much. So anything in the paint world that you've seen done technique-wise, the mediums, you know, whatever, can be done on a cup, more than likely. I'm using just a foam, um, just a little foam round that they use 
uh, in the scrapbooking stuff for their stamping um, by Tim Holtz, I believe. You could use your foam brushes, but I think these just have a smaller grain to them, so I don't find I have too much difficulty getting to move this stuff without leaving a mark. They make square or rectangles too, I think. I just happen to have a bunch of these still left over from my scrapbooking days. sticking to my finger. I got a lot of ink on it. This is why I don't bother doing manicures. Ooh, it's potent. Okay. Don't forget the bottom. Yeah, I like it with that, that other color underneath it because, um, I'll see if I can give you a close-up here in a minute. It's just bringing in a little depth instead of just that flat metal. Okay, what do you think? Kind of look like the Tin Man. Here, I'll put it sideways. So that black is giving it just a little depth. I prefer, you know, actually there isn't really a whole preference. I like the colors um, across the different companies. Uh, I have been using primarily the Tim Holtz just because they're, they're more readily available. Um, but I got the Zig brand online very cheaper much more cheaper rather than the Tim Holtz but what I'm finding with these is they're mostly if you like the pastels um, they're not very bright all of their colors I, I'm finding are not very bright from the ones I purchased um, I like the uh, these two are the newest ones I just used and I'm impressed with them those are those um, Marabou I got those online as well Marabou M-A-R-A-B-U um, and they're very close, if not the same, to the Tim Holtz. I'd say they're a little bit brighter than the Tim Holtz. A little bit more vibrant. I like the drippers on the Tim Holtz, right, when they're working properly. Um, plus, they don't dry out fast. When they don't work properly, then this happens and it spills everywhere. It gets to be messy and you lose a lot of ink. So now look at my fingers. Woo! <laughs> So I'm going to let that one dry. I think I'm liking that. Okay, so. Hola. <laughs> Let's put you over here so you can see the cup. There we go. Yeah, so um, so you just have to kind of try your inks and see what you like. But but from my experience and when I mix them in, the Tim Holtz, you know, they're very good uh, colors. Um, it's just hard to figure out sometimes what color is really going to come out of them because this label here, the, this ink came out a lot darker than that as an example. So you just have to test them out before you use them. So it's just those two cups tonight. Um, I'll be uh, keeping an eye on the beach one, make sure that it's drying as it's supposed to. And, uh, and then I'll post pictures of them when I get the images on. 
so you can see the fin finished products and this one I gotta get um, I'm gonna try to see if I can make some rivets you know make them look like rivets so I have to figure that out yet I might be able to airbrush something on I don't know I've been playing with the airbrush trying to get better at creating things with that I'm gonna have to douse myself in alcohol ink get a little bit more on the bottom here Alrighty, so um, I'm going to try and do more lives now that I don't have so much going on with my class being done and, uh, and such, so hopefully, you know, and I'll let you know next time before I go on, I just wanted to kind of pop on and get these done. I figured since I'm doing, I'm going to do a live. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Alright, everyone have a great night, and thanks for all your wishes and, and prayers on the storm. Um, I'll try and keep everybody posted on that too on Facebook, just as long as we have internet and as long as we have power. Okay. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Hi, Nanette. <laughs> Thanks for joining. All right. Bye.